Hello and welcome. This presentation is going to cover modeling and structure in Revit and then export it to robust structural analysis. And we are going to be considering the most effective way to do this successfully. And after which, we will proceed to carry out the loading analysis and design of this structure and take it back to Revit again successfully. So stay connected as we dive into the presentation. So here is the model that we are going to be uh, using successfully. Okay, we will learn how to model this appropriately and then carry out all the next settings in Revit as we will export this straight away to robot structure just like this okay so we are going to be referencing an autocad uh file that we will be actually extracting the floor plan right here okay so here is the autocad plan okay so now we will be navigating to the revit right so we are going to start by creating a new project so you know in one of my video on my channel you will notice that uh, we were able to model and export operator structure okay so the way to model is different okay for sprutter structure and robust structure successfully so it's going to be a series of video and at the end of uh, this presentation we are going to learn a lot of knowledge so to, let us get started First, I will have to get to the file menu right there, and then you click on the new. We want to be creating a new project. Click on new project. Over here, we have the Imperial Multi Discipline. Select in the provisions to have the drop down menu where you see Revit Structure Template. This level structure and template, you click on the options right there, and then you have to select create a project. Okay. So after which, we will click on the OK option. So now we have a new project named Project 1, Structural Plan. Okay, so there's a difference between Structural Plan and Architectural Plan, which as we make progress, I will be explaining all of this to you. If you come to the left, to the right panel, right pan here we have the structural tree as in the levels right there the site and the 3d view and as well as the elevations will be navigating through all of this so at default you have only two levels right there okay and then if you come to the uh, left pan we have the properties all right in the revit structure successfully so revit structure is a multidiscipline revit is a multidiscipline software okay so it depends on the aspect of it that you wish to use. All right. So we are considering the structural aspect of uh, Revit in this video. So at first, before you start to draw your plan, you have to first of all set an elevations. So to set an elevations, you have to navigate to the south, south elevations, or any of these elevations. But I normally use south. Okay. Then over here, you see. We are having our unit here in millimeters. So you can navigate now to be able to set your unit successfully. Okay. So you can decide whether you are going to be using millimeter or centimeter or meter as well. Okay. But in this video, we will be considering millimeter as a unit. And then it is an, a, a matrix system of a measurement will be considered. So we navigate to the manage tab. And then the manage tab, you can come to where you have unit since the options or you end that is the uh, shortcut right there. So, in the unit right here, okay. So, you can see uh, very important the distance and then the length, okay. So, it's already in millimeters, the slope is in degree, okay. So, we don't have anything much to change right here. So, click on the okay options. Then we start to create our levels, all right. So now we want to create level, we have to take note of this level uh, head marked and the color. I want to show you between analytical and architectural uh, level line. Okay, so 
we have the default level to be uh default level to be three meters okay so we we'll select this one we'll be using a copy options okay on the modify toolbar okay copy or co the same thing works in autocad as a shortcut so click right there and then tick on this level move your hand upward and type three meters just like this which is three thousand millimeters and then click on the okay options and then you still will have level three right there i move my hand up again and then i will key in three thousand and enter of level four we'll be having up to seventh level according to that structure okay so we have uh, another three meters just like this and enter okay that is the fifth level we have three meters again and enter the sixth level okay and the last level we'll be having is three meter as well and then we enter all right so if you check very well you will notice the differences between the level head okay colored we are just created and the existing uh level head color all right so now this level uh, color is showing that this is not a structural uh, level and then if you go and then you produce your model with this robot structure we not see any structure that is on this level because this is not a structural level look at the structural level supposed to be in this format okay as we make progress i will show you how to actually convert this level head to structural level successfully okay so let us proceed so we want to start by navigating to the floor plan we need to create additional level for foundations okay so we select on this one and then we come to copy options pick this take it down okay we will be having a foundation depth to be 1500 so it came 1500 and enter right there so you can see what we have in level eight right here i can edit by clicking in these provisions and i'll give it the name as f f uh fdt okay just like this as my foundation so i start from here to up level one up to level seven successfully so we are be able to create a level all right successfully but take note these levels have to be changed to structural levels so you have this color okay instead of this one all right we'll look at that as we make progress okay i will navigate to story one right there so at this point i cannot start to carry out mm, my uh grid line okay structural grid line set out for my structure successfully all right so for me to do that i can't just navigate back to autocad okay this is the model which i've shown, shown us successfully but we don't have need for this so we can't just get rid of this for now okay so you just close this click on no options so we'll get back to autocad just like this so we are now to navigate between autocad and Revit. all right so we first of all look at the first grid lines right here so you have to draw the first grid lines and start to offset okay very important all right so we navigate to Revit and then we come to the structural tab right here yeah? so if you are working as a structural engineer you always use structural tab to produce any of the structural elements you want to okay you can also use architecture and then be able to select in the menu so as you can see architectural and uh, structural okay but only use structural tab is very important so we proceed so you can see green line right here click on the green lines i will do the first green lines just like this which is a green line one in the horizontal directions okay so i can see have another green line but i wanted it to face this way so i can is let select this and use this delete options right here so i can pick from here and then take it this way okay so since i've drawn the first one as one see this one it's been labeled as two successfully you can click in these provisions and make it one okay if actually you want to make the result and realize uh numerically okay and then your vertical realize could be alphabetically so my my horizontal green line is going to be alphabetically okay so i'll make it a just like this so the next one is going to be b all right but uh is this fine and also right to actually number from down 
out what so you can select this i choose to move this down just like this okay reposition it click on it and then move it like just like this all right so you now start to offset upward all right within this uh uh view uh region all right so we get back to auto car let's check the uh distances given here if you are going up from a this is a and then two seven five two seven two five okay then six two two five all right that the offset two seven two five okay so we select on this we we'll use to copy option so make sure you select on this so the modify to bar will pop up click right there get up to seven two five just like this and then you enter go up again and then we have six two two five and then you enter again the next glitch is on six two two five again six two two five again you enter just like this let's check back over here six two two five here six two two five okay and then over here we have this uh landing right here we may not incorporate it now we will do that later okay while modeling this structure so so this uh 1.2 plus uh 50 is 6 to 5 as well so we have uh first second and the third 6 to 5 and then 2 7 uh 2 5 all right so let's get back there so we have another 6 to 5 right here 6 to 5 and then you enter so the last bridge is two seven to five just like this okay and then you enter so we are okay with the grids along horizontal directions okay we'll be looking at the vertical grids so now click on the bridge right there and then i picked from my point here take it up so i'm having it as g since the last grid we created is f so you can always click in these provisions and then rename it i want it to be uh, numerica all right so click outside to have this place successfully i select on this we'll be offsetting towards the right directions all right so i will navigate to auto cards and then i have two seven two five and then five two two five five two two five into three places all right two seven two five so let's go back to revit i'll select on this to have my modify to by click on the copy or co Click on this, so we have uh, two seven two five, all right, and then okay. So we have five, all right, two two five, all right, and then okay. Add a five, two two five, okay. Five two two five. Okay, just like this. Then the next one, let's get back to AutoCAD. Uh, five six to five into three places, and then two six to five right here. Two six to five. All right. So the last one right here is two six to five. Two six to five. Just like this, and we enter. Okay, so this is not properly placed. You can see. So you can actually get rid of that by using the delete options. Select on this, right click, or CO on the keyboard. Click on that, 62625. Okay, enter. So we have this. You can actually select one of the grid lines and then use this permission click code to be able to adjust this grid successfully. And after which we can as well be able to adjust all of this okay just like this after which we carry out the thumb dimensioning of the grid lines so i click right here i pick the dimension so i continue to uh, pick the grid lines to have eight dimensions just like this then i will do the overall dimensions just like this okay you can see all right so this side is something applicable i will take up the dimensioning all 
correct and then i can do the overall dimensions so the dimension line is very close to the grid lines so i will have to escape this and then i select on the grid lines and then i take this up a little bit all right and then my dimensions i can as well adjust it downward by selecting the first one okay for the control key select the second i can use the move options okay or mv for move okay and then i'll take it to some extent there just like this all right so everything is fine so i've set out my three line successfully okay so now I will have to select all the grid lines just like this and then I will use this option spin options to pin this all right just like this so you can move it around okay now we proceed if I navigate to south elevations just as I said earlier that I will be showing you how you can actually uh, change these uh, levels aid from architectural to structural. But by then, let us adjust this. This is too close to grid line 7. Take it back just like this. And then you select on this. You take it down. So, extent, you can take it down. The reason is because we have pinned it. All right. We pin this. You can take that down. All right. So, now let us uh, proceed. We want to be converting this uh, uh, level head to structural level head this is a structural level head this one is a structural level head but this is an architectural level head all right so what we do is we we'll come to the view provisions right here and then you select on the plan see this plan view so select here and then you click on the structural plan so you can see the ones that are not structural level structural level we actually show here that is why if we check very well you did not see level two and level one okay but you can see four seven six okay three and five because those ones are not structural so you just have to select the first one which is three or the shift select the last one and then click on the okay options right there so it has changed automatically so if i navigate to the south elevation now you see all has been changed except the foundations the foundations has not changed to a structural plan so using the same process okay because we did select that i will select in the structural plan this is the foundation click on the okay if i use edit and then create another file successfully in the same way and then be able to apply this successfully click on the okay options then get back to the south elevations you see all has been changed to structural uh level successfully so if i get back to level one i see my green line set out for this structure successfully so i believe uh you have learned one or two things in this video do not forget to like and subscribe stay connected as i will bring you the second series of this video that will consist of the modeling of the main structure we will continue to prepare the structure so as to be interpreted by robot structural analysis successfully we are going to stop here and then we will see in the next presentations uh do not forget to check the description of this video as we have our templates and other items there that will help you in your design office successfully stay safe and bye for now